Aliza here, your Efrat expert. Today I'm going to be talking about Efrat's first neighborhood, the Rimon. Established in 1980 and spanning over 130 dunum with 280 housing units, here is where the pioneers of Efrat landed. The city's founders, Moshe Moshkovitz, the first mayor of Efrat, and Rabbi Shlomo Riskin, the chief rabbi of Efrat, had the vision for an open community between Gush Etzion and Jerusalem, which would serve as a strategic bridge between the block of Jewish settlements and Jerusalem. The great pioneers of Efrat put an emphasis on high quality construction despite the many challenges Efrat posed, especially topographically. The neighborhood started out with a mix of Israelis, Americans, South Africans, and Australians, and has pretty much stayed the same until today. Those first residents flocked to Efrat, seeking a warm and open community in close proximity to Jerusalem. The majority of the residents are in their 60s to 80s. However, in recent years, young families have begun moving to the neighborhood as well. No matter where you are in the Rimon, you are always walking distance from both Ashkenazi and Sephardi shuls. You're also walking distance from the huge shopping center in the Tainat, which borders the Rimon. In the shopping center, you have a supermarket, Pizzeria Frat, New Delhi, Burgers Bar, the Moetza, the Post Office, and much more. The beauty and the greenery of the Rimon is unmatched because it truly shows the roots and the essence of Efrat and from where everything stemmed. The properties are a mix of B'nai B'tcha houses, rows of cottages, and a few Madurogim, which hasn't changed since it was built 40 years ago. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend you take a stroll here through the many streets and parks on a Shabbat afternoon. For more information about what's currently on the market or about the area in general, please feel free to contact me or go to our website at goodbyrealestate.com and stay tuned for our next video of Efrat.